I should have done my hair better. Should have done my hair. I should have brushed it. Easily. My daughter woke me up at five o'clock. Five in the morning. Five. Bye. Bye. That's all we do anymore. We homeschool, so we get to decide what time <laughs> we wake up. Five o'clock uh, is not one of those days. All right. This one here is uh, basically the House passed a bill last night, from what I understand, debating it. A couple of days, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, anti Semitism, right? Now, look. For that moron out there that keeps throwing out a definition from, that's not how it is applied in modern language, not this bill. All right, here's the, here's the problem with this bill, okay? This bill restricts freedom of speech. Now, I don't like these little twerps, but this is a problem for our legal system, and our legal system is broken. Our police force is a joke. They've become the feelings police. You have the right of freedom of speech in this country. But if you interfere with someone else, you should be arrested and put in jail because now you're being violent. When your rights, your, oh, sorry, not when, your rights stop where mine begin. If you get out on the road protesting and you block me, that's an act of violence. It should be met with equal violence. Now, having said that, because our law enforcement and the Democratic side of the Uniparty, know what I said, side of the Uniparty, okay? They're all wanting the same thing. This bill is a trap. If you voted for this bill, you have violated your oath of office because it goes against the First Amendment. The Constitution of the United States of America has a provision for freedom of speech, not freedom of violence, okay? So if you voted for this anti-Semitism thing, this is a plan. The whole vote was a trick. Because if you vote against it, you actually look like you're anti-Semitic. If you vote for it, you're going against the Constitution. This is illegal, and I believe it will be overturned by the Supreme Court, because it will be challenged. And uh, she's like, Christians against Jews, give me a break. So if you haven't heard, which I hadn't really until, mm. I, I got to tell you, uh, just a side note and all that. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, John MacArthur is very public out there. He's a pastor that's been forever. And if you know, you know. He should be put to bed. Well, yeah, but I got to tell you, the one thing about him is that he's brave, okay? What? I didn't do nothing. He's he's pretty brave, okay? <laughs> During the pandemic, he didn't close his church. Yeah. He closed the long enough to figure out that this was all made up crap and reopened his church, even though he was challenged by the county of Los Angeles or city of Los Angeles, whatever, forever. And... Uh, one thing that you can count on him is to talk about current issues because they're important to the church. Now, that's how I heard about it, okay? And so this is just a FYI for pastors out there. You really need to talk about the issues of the day with your with yes, your congregation. Because I, I wouldn't that. have heard any of it. Anyways, point aside, long, long point aside yeah. is if you haven't heard of this bill, uh, so we have in our in our books uh, bills against uh, racial discrimination, racial profile, and things like that, right? So now what they wanted to, and then there is this thing called oh, something about Israel, blah blah blah. It's a law. It's not a law, but there's a it's a something that everybody adopted, saying that you couldn't say that the Holocaust wasn't real that you couldn't uh, say things against Jews and all of that. And it's it, okay in and, Europe. And, that, and they adapted it in Europe, and yep. that's fine and dandy. Now, they this particular law, it says on it, it's aimed to codify and put that into our into our uh, uh, law, that, 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 uh, that agreement they had. Look it up. It's very broad. 
Yes. It's very broad. And if someone else is writing that they want to bring into our system right. as well. Now, like he said, now, now, this has nothing to do with, now, do you have like uh, Marjorie Green? Yes, she was saying uh, that I was going to get to uh, her. She, <laughs> no, uh, go ahead. She says in one of her truths. Uh, I, think she, I think she took it down, but it was up. She quotes the one where they, uh, she says that because she voted no because she's a Christian and uh, that this particular uh, law might make the Bible. Yeah, because in the Bible it does talk about the Jews giving uh, Jesus Christ over to uh, Pilate to be crucified. And right. then they had the vote and they voted to free Barabbas. And she put the Bible quote, how dare you? That's the same thing, the same exact argument Hitler used That's against right. the Jews. That's right. So if this is not anti-Semitic, what is it, Marjorie? So watch. Here's, first of all, no Jew alive today had anything to do yeah. with crucifying our Lord Jesus Christ. Not a single Jew alive today had to do anything with that. And that's first point. Second point is Jesus Christ forgave the Jews that's of right. the first century for Father, their death. Father, forgive them, them for, for they, they, they know them. not what they, they do. do. I think, to me, that's that cleans up everything. Now, yeah. Here's where it comes in. Marjorie Green, and I'm sure a few other people out there, and, and it was the same argument that John yes. MacArthur had, that this, this could possibly remove the Bible from whatever. Well, they're already I, taking it out of the schools, so. I will tell you what. God made sure that from century ago, we had his scriptures. Absolutely no way, no how would he allow his scriptures to be removed from our lives. Correct. Okay? So you have to believe God for his uh, for His promises. Now, this has nothing to do with religion. Nothing. Not a single thing. This, this is a move by the Uniparty to destroy the First Amendment. Because if they get away with this, then they can use it for a precedent. Yeah. On other things. That's right. The First Amendment guarantees the right of freedom of speech, not freedom of violence. When these kids hit that campus and started interfering with the operation of the school, that becomes violent. It is not a peaceful protest anymore. It's a violent protest. And you should have met it instantly when they interfered with kids going to class when they interfered with poor jewish kids who more than likely have never been to israel just trying to get an education that's violence don't tell me that this is peaceful yeah and let me let me let me let me give you let me i don't know that any jewish person would ever watch this but no. if for a third chance you know someone that is jewish you know someone that uh, that that could uh, share this with them. I'll tell you why. Because this, while they say this has got to do with Christianity and that we're defending our Christian right to have the Bible, you have to remember that we share a common book. Okay, your Old Testament has a lot of the, a lot a lot of testament they a lot of the old testament has uh language that is less than flattering towards jewish yes. people okay um you stiff neck people right for example oh, that's one of my favorites eh? yeah some of them are look at ben shapiro he's an interesting <laughs> little feller so what i'm trying to say is if you as a jewish person are sitting back going like, yeah, I want them to stop them from calling me whatever name is. Yeah. Remember that this is, they, they they will start with one thing and they will have no problem in removing your books. That's right. Okay. But look, Freedom of speech. Again. You guys, Marjorie Green Taylor, all right, uh, you know, uh, she talks a good storm. 
Okay, she really does talk a good storm, and you really want to believe her, but you watch how she votes. All right, let me tell you something. She's hollow, she's empty, and she's a showgirl. All right, she should be in the Rockettes or whatever. She puts on a good show about being a conservative, and she is not. How do I know? Because she has never brought the motion to the floor to vacate. All right, this is a uniparty. And both sides of that uniparty have the same goal. They want to remove the Bill of Rights so they can control you. Every aspect of your life is what they want to go for. And if you don't believe that, you need to wake up because you're deluding yourself. I know people really want to believe there's Republican and Democrat. There's not. You're simple-minded, all right? I agree. I agree. Most people in, I mean, almost everybody in Washington is just a simple baby killer. And look, I'm telling you, no human being, not no group of old people in Washington has the authority to tell a young woman that it's perfectly okay to murder her child. No group of old people up there in Washington can pass a bill that restricts the freedom of speech. You can't do it. The only reason they get away with this is because we are so divided, all right? You have the black people that perceive racism. It's not true, but that's, you know, that's what they believe. You have the uh, gay people and, and the transgender people who uh, appear to be have the same thought in their head, yet transgender people are the ones that are doing all the school shootings and church shootings, all right? The Democratic side of the Uniparty, the far left, is a violent organization, and it gets more and more violent as we go on. Law enforcement is broken. When these kids started taking over to college, you should have moved in there and got them out of there because that was an act of violence. When they block intersections, you should get out there with the fire hoses, tear gas, and billy clubs because they are being violent. Your rights end where the next feller's rights start. I have every right to say whatever I want, but I cannot interfere with your life. And if you get offended, your parents should have raised you better. Yeah, get over it. Yeah, get over it. Well, what I would say is uh, Jewish people, this is going to be controversial. And it used to tick me off when he said it. He said it. Who said it? He said it. Who's he? You, you. I say you? I said it. But it must be bad. Jewish friends, Christian friends, we both worship Yahweh. Same God. Same God. Okay. Now, Muslims, gonna... we worship the same God. I don't know about that. I, well, no, no. Technically, look it up in the Quran. The Quran says Jesus Christ was a prophet, exactly like the Jews say. He was a prophet, nothing more. I tend to believe he was the son of God. Okay? It's the same religion. You guys are arguing about things that don't matter. So... We both us all both us. I don't know about the Muslims there, but well, no, no, we're, no, we're, it, it, yeah. it might be. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, like I said, this is controversial, but it's friends, controversial. friends, we both, all of us serve the even those that are unbelievers, correct, serve the same God. We all serve Yahweh. Therefore, we must be united in making this earth His kingdom the way He has it in heaven. That is our command. And so one of the things is we really need to knock it off with the inner fighting yeah. and being, this is my camp, this is your camp. We are all servants of God, okay? And as long as we're serving him right, he will make sure that the things that go happen here are correct, as, you, as the Old Testament tells you. Okay. Do what I say, and he will do what he says. One more thing to all you halfwits. All this money we are spending on the Ukraine, it's ridiculous. They don't have the population to fight Russia anymore. All you warmongering pieces of crap. 
The money that we're sending to, to the Ukraine could end homelessness in America. Both sides talk about the homeless. Y'all never do anything about it. Why would that be? Because you don't care. Yeah. All right? All of that money. Are you kidding me? No child would ever go hungry in this country. We could build a border wall. We could get a secure nation. We could make America strong. All right. I don't know who's in charge, but it absolutely is not Joe Biden. And the proof is in the pudding. This man is literally a criminal, and no, he was found incompetent to, incompetent to stand trial, yet no one wants to impeach him. Why? Well, because if you impeach him, you're stuck with Kamala Harris. No, he was Right? No one him. wants that. Yeah. So they're leaving a the criminal in there, okay? Now, you know, they have Donald Trump over there trying to pin stuff to him oh. based on while he was president. Yeah. Now. I don't think, you know, I don't know what the outcome of this is going to be. I have but no I will idea. tell you, if I was the president, the sitting president of the United States right now, with the criminal record and background I have, um, you know, Joe I'd Biden, be scared. Uh, Clinton, yeah. uh, Obama, I would be very, very worried about Obama that. ordered drone strikes. Now, wrap your head around this. Obama ordered drone strikes on civilians. All right. Now, if you want to talk about something that is despicable, how about that? These weren't military targets. These are civilians. So if I was any of them uh. and and Don, I would be very worried and concerned that Donald Trump was found guilty of anything that he did during the presidency, because uh. then that brings open the floodgates to bring all of you into it. And look, if, if paying for if paying girls off is against the law, then why haven't we brought Joe Biden to trial for Tara Reid? Why haven't we brought Bill Clinton for Jennifer Flowers and Paula Jones and all of those other women? All right. I mean, this is ridiculous. You're using a justice system for a political thing. All right. There's no justice in this country. Nope. And only idiots that want to stay divided. Because Here it is. A wise man once told me, he goes, there's two kinds of people in the world that are extremely easy to brainwash. Okay? One is an educated man because he doesn't want to admit he's wrong. So he'll stick to his guns no matter what. Because that's what he was taught. He wasn't smart enough, sorry, to do any of his own research. And a stupid man. Why is a stupid man or an uneducated person uh, easy to control? Because they want freebies. So you give freebies to one group, right? And the other group, you keep feeding propaganda to, and they're not going to admit that they're wrong. Correct. So, so there you go. I mean, friends, uh, Christians, Jews. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we need to stop meddling with this know, bill, uh, you know, being so divided like this. Yeah, this bill is absolutely meant to divide people. It's meant to divide people politically, religiously, culturally. All right. Uh, what we need to do is enforce the laws that are on the books. Look, blocking a freeway is a violent act. All right. Interfering with someone else's life is not peaceful. I don't care if you say it's peaceful. It's not. It's violent. Your rights end where mine begin. If you interfere with my rights, exercising your rights, you're committing a violent act. Freedom of speech is just that. If you want to go to the colleges and sit in that little quad yard or whatever and protest all you want, I'm all for that. I don't like you people. I think you're dumb because let me tell you something in Palestine or what you're calling Palestine, Gaza, being a homosexual is most definitely against the law. And you girls, if you want to bear, wear a burqa for the rest of your life and be treated like property, that's yours. It's on you. But when you interfere with Anything else, the operation of the school, people going to class, teachers teaching class, that's an act of violence. You need to be arrested and charged with assault. I agree. Hmm? That's it. That's, that's it, it, people. I'm and freedom of speech is freedom of speech. 
And so just be aware that that's out there, that people would would want, you know, that, that, that there are people that you would want, that you believe that are on your side, are not on your side. They're all on no. their own yep. side. The Republicans, just as much as the Democrats. They talk a good storm. Where's the proof? Yeah. All right. People have been talking about the homeless since I was a child. Right. They've been talking this nonsense domino theory, which was not true in Korea, was not true in Vietnam. But yet you people keep falling for the same stuff. You just, you know, just because you put a pretty pink dress on a pig, it's still a pig. And look, Marjorie Green Taylor. Put up or shut up. All right. Do what you say you're going to do or just shut up. I agree. Yeah. Don't use the Lord Jesus Christ for your political Yeah, identity. that irritated That's me. That's what irritated me. Yes. You know? But what can we do? Yep. Just raise the alarm. Share it. With, share this video with other people. Yeah. Because. Give really, us your ideas. Yeah. Be say, civil, but give us your yeah, ideas. Yeah, and share, you know, really. Share, and share your thoughts with other people. Look things up. You know, the anytime... Both Democrats and Republicans get together to co-sponsor a bill that diminishes your rights. That's the scariest that thing in the world. Scary. Yeah. What did Reagan say? I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Yeah, there's nothing scarier than someone saying I'm with the government and I'm here to help. That's right. That's right. Anyway. He counted the words out. It was better when he did it. Did he? Yeah. Anyhow. Anyway, that's it, guys. That's all, you know. Be aware, be alert, do your research. Keep God in your heart. And look, this is not a religious thing that they're doing. Wake up. This is a bill to restrict freedom of speech, and they will use it as a precedent to take more of your rights away. Yeah, yeah, don't don't let them. Um, we tend as Democrats or Republicans, depending on what camp you're in, when somebody says something that you agree with, you tend to go all the, all in behind it without really researching what we're doing. Not just because they speak our language as a conservative doesn't mean that they are right. Let me tell you something, John Fetterman. I owe you an apology, dude. I am really starting to like you. You have a pair of cojones, and you're a real man. Okay, yeah. now I like that. If I lived in your district, I would vote for you. That's right. <laughs> That's right, right? And as far as this moron in the house, Johnson or whatever, come on, man, you're a turncoat sidewalk sissy. Yeah, he's not, he's not, a, good, not a good he's good. not a good man. He's a weak man. He caved like a cheap bag. Does he cave that? like a cheap suit or no? He folded, he folded like a cheap suit. <laughs> I told you guys from the beginning, he ain't no Christian. Yeah, he ain't uh, no Christian. He ain't no, no Christian. Anyway. And I'm beginning to think Marjorie Green Taylor ain't either. Anybody can quote scripture out of context. Tell your age she found the, the, the wrong, absolutely the wrong quote. Mm-hmm. I, I was telling Marjorie Green Taylor, her aide found the wrong quote quote yeah that was the wrong quote to use yeah uh you know father forgive them for they know not what they do that's like the senate and the house father forgive them they know not what they do but that's not true they know what they're doing they want to get rid of the bill of right the bill of rights all right freedom of speech the bill of rights the first second third fourth the fourth amendment And the Fifth Amendment, all right? You can't just go search someone's house because you want to take a look-see. Here's here's a challenge for you. I hope hope this this helps you. We have a tendency to pray for our families and our illness and for things that we need and all of that. And all of of these things. You got to remember the people in the Old Testament, New Testament, they, they did what is called corporate prayer, guys. Yep. We need to pray for this country, for the health of this country, yeah. that we can be further along, that we can. We share. need to pray for term yeah. limits. You know, but really just not so much specifically, but pray that God would see it to guide us 
in in a godly way that we can turn to him again and again because we we serve a merciful god yeah and we are in, under judgment right now if you can't see it then you're blind but right. let's pray for this country yep. guys all pray right anyhow god bless everybody Bye.